So the ground plane fits inside the box and it's uh, relatively straightforward to put in. You have a couple of options for doing it. Um, one is to, uh, to try and put it along the edge all the way around. Another option is to put it through the center. Now you'll notice when you look down there that it's a little bit longer than the, uh, uh, the box, so you'll need to bend it. You'll also need to sort of make some cutouts for the, uh, the little um, standoffs that are on the bottom. So there, you can use your knife, you can also use a pair of scissors to uh, trim that out a little bit. The thing you're going to want to make sure of is that when you put the tape in place, that it covers over these holes here and here at the end, because that's where the antenna goes through. So here you see it, and I've made some, uh, some snips to take out some space so that we can actually get the um, metal in over those standoffs. And so once you've got that done, you just want to carefully peel the backing off the tape and lay it into place. And you might want to start you know, just with a section of it. Don't undo the whole thing at once, so you're, it's a little easier to work with. And there you have a flight box with a ground plane in it now.